I have a dog named Barney who was rescued from a kill shelter in Alabama. He only had a few days before his time was up. He was one of the lucky ones and was rescued by Ruff, but not all are lucky enough to be rescued before being euthanized. Do you have a dog or cat from a shelter or even a purebred? Have you ever imagined what would happen to your pet if you did adopt them or if they got lost? Most lost pets never get to see their families again. Today, I'm going to tell you the injustice of kill shelters. You may ask, what is a kill shelter? Kill shelters are animal shelters that kill animals to make space for the next load. They're also known as open administration shelters where they take in any animal, sick or not. Now we all know the truth of these brutal places. Kill shelters are referred to that. In fact, most shelters are approved by the government. According to GermanShepherdDogs.info, they have the right not to publish their euthanized rates. So you could bring your pet to a no-kill shelter where your pet just might actually be entering its last few days. So if it's approved by government, it must be okay, right? If you thought so, you're wrong. According to Rebels Rescue, pets that are in kill shelters have a less than one in five chance of making it out alive. Most are killed within one to five days. There are four old types of euthanizing animals. One is shooting, pretty much gives its name. Next is gassing. And it might not seem so bad, but it is. They put the animals in an oven-like object and the door is closed. Gas is released into the chamber and the cats and dogs scratch and maw at each other to get out to the air that will never come. Next is injecting. They give the dog or cat a lethal injection of pink stuff in the front paw. Last might still be used in a few shelters is electrocution and they do so by putting a small metal clip on the lip and shocking them, though if used, it is only in small animals. The new one is crushing, where they have a machine that traps the animal to where they cannot breathe. There are some ways of helping to stop kill shelters. Some of these ways are volunteering, donating, adopting mutts, and spreading the word of no kill shelters. Two no-kill facilities are rough, rescuing unwanted furry fidos and Suncoast Animal League. If you want to see the end of kill shelters, then help make a change. Suncoast has already taken over 13 kill shelters in some of our counties, but need our help. Help by fostering animals, spaying and neutering, and donating money, food, and old beds. With our help, we can stop kill shelters and the killing of these innocent creatures. Thank you.